Hi, Matthew McDonald here. In this video, we're going to walk through the process of setting up your Facebook clone video opt-in page. Now, with the package that you've downloaded, inside the package you'll find a folder that's called Video Opt-in Templates. In there, we're going to find the three different layouts that are, that are pretty much ready to go for your opt-in page. If you're not sure which one to use, then just go with the list builder. They're all very similar, but the list builder is probably going to be the most commonly used by you to create these opt-in pages. Going into the list builder folder, we can find all the files that we're going to be uploading to our site in order to create our opt-in page. Everything's pretty much ready to go and the only files you need to edit have all been placed inside the settings folder. So you don't need to edit the template, you just go into the settings folder and they're all in text files. The reason we put them in text files is so you don't need to open any kind of HTML editor to set it up. All you need to do is add your information here to customize your page. Now, the most important ones are going to be your opt-in form and your video embed code. All the other ones are optional, but I recommend filling out all of them. The template will compile itself and all you have to do is enter your details here in the settings folder. So starting with the video embed code, we can see here we've got an embed code ready to go. And if we have a look at our page at the moment, this is what we're getting. So let me quickly go through the different embed options. If you're using a YouTube video, which is a great option, all you do is you on your video page, you come down here, you click the embed, and it's going to give you the code. Now it'll give you a very good size that's already optimized for our video opt-in page. So if we just copy that code and we paste it in the video embed code. Now if we go back and refresh the page here, we can see our YouTube video is loading up. You can also use a Vimeo video. So going here to share options, we've got the embed code there so we can copy that. With Vimeo, once you paste it in, it actually gives you some extra code here and a link back to Vimeo. You probably don't want to include that and I'll show you what that looks like. If I refresh the page now, we can see my Vimeo video is loading fine there, but I've got this extra text down here that Vimeo have, have included in the embed code. And you can take that away. So if we have a look at the code here, after the closing iframe, we've got P for paragraph and all the content after that, we can delete it, save the changes and we come back here and refresh the page and we can see now the video is loading beautifully there. Now, my favorite option is obviously going to be the custom video player and with that one you can actually customize your video a little bit more for a standard video you could choose the medium size or the small size both of these sizes are going to match the youtube player size and they're going to fit perfectly into the opt-in video page we can choose to hide the controls on auto start we'll set that to yes automatically or you can set it to yes start automatically once and you can also choose the click to pause. Generate video code. Oh, hello there. There, we're getting a preview of our video. So if I take this embed code and we paste that into our video embed code file, we come back here, refresh the page. Oh, hello there, greeting. We can see the video starts playing automatically. If you did want to cover the link to YouTube, you can do that as well in the custom video player here. In the advanced settings, if you go to custom logo, you can just type in the word white and choose to position the mask at the bottom right hand corner, set your pixels to four pixels and set the transparency to extremely faint. Then we generate video code. Oh, hello there. 
and now we can see the YouTube logo is still there but it's you, it's got a mask over it so you're not able to click it I thought I'd throw in that little trick there we copy that code put that in our video file and let's refresh the page here for our preview well, hello there, greetings and, and there's our opt-in page ready to go and they're not going to be able to click the logo which means they're not going to be leaving your site the next we're going to put our own sign up opt-in form so going back to our folder we've got a text file here in the settings folder called opt-in form opening that up we've got a default one set up there but you can create your own opt-in form there and set that up so if you're with Aweber or GetResponse they've got a lot of different tools you can even design your forms but just remember making the form extremely fancy or flashy it's not really going to affect your opt-in ratio that much it's really going to be the video that determines if you're going to have a high opt-in ratio and if we have a quick look at the template here because there's no distractions this is not on somebody else's site but we don't have any dis distractions it's a trusted design they're familiar with it from from Facebook all you need to do is have the correct kind of video that's going to get them to take action and they're going to register for your product if it's right for them so don't get all caught up at trying to create a fancy with arrows pointing and you know this offer ends in two seconds fill this form now you know you don't need any of that and in fact that can work against you it can seem too salesy so don't get too caught up at getting the opt-in form to look exactly perfect or exactly like that if you've got a good video to get the conversion to get people to opt-in and you just have that form next to it um, you're going to get a very high opt-in ratio and then all you do is you grab your HTML code paste that in the opt-in form and this is going to be totally random here and you can see I've just got their name and email now obviously you you could put the introduction there or you could even leave the introduction here register for free access and just from where the form starts you could put your form in there and now if I refresh the page it's got the sign up register free access now but all this text you can set that up in your widget here when you're creating your opt-in form but once again don't get too caught up with it just a simple call for action where you basically tell the people to enter their details here um, that's going to work great for you once you've done that it's actually pretty much ready to go you want to change the title up here and you can also use that as part of your marketing so it doesn't have to be a business name or a website name it can be any title and if we go back to our settings folder we've got here business name text file so I'll just put here special offer giveaway save that and coming back here refreshing the page and now we've got our custom title there so that's how easy it is to edit this page and you can obviously add your own links and that sort of stuff but all of this you do from inside the settings folder so nothing else needs to be edited and you've also got your Google Analytics there you've got your keywords you've got your description which is your meta tags and you can use that to optimize your site uh, for search engines so there you go that's it in a wrap don't forget to put in your title as well which can be the same as your business name and if you're optimizing it for search engines then that's definitely going to be your most important part of your content you want to have your keywords in your title